From the very moment you walked through that door in the cafe, I remember thinking that you would be the first and only person I would ever fall in love with. Because if I was to <coughs> if I were to dream up the perfect wife, I could never have conjured someone as extraordinary and amazing as you, Stacey. You surpass every expectation, and I am beyond grateful to call you my wife. Simply put, you have saved me. You have been my guardian angel, pulling me out of the darkest corners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, pulling me out of the darkest corners of my own mind and showing me the light. Your love, patience and support have been my life. And I'm forever grateful for the strength and courage you have given me. I asked to say a few words today, as traditionally the groom's dad wouldn't, but I didn't want this wonderful day to go by without taking the opportunity to firstly officially welcome Stacy into our family and talk about our wonderful son's journey here. We have so many great memories and anecdotes over the years that if I went through, it would take too long and everyone's attention would disappear. But sometimes you never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Ultimately, what we want to say is that we are so lucky to have you as our son. You have made us so proud so many times with lots of memories. Your drumming skills, swimming, head boy, football, first class honours degree, followed by a masters, helping others in India. Your ability to take yourself out of your comfort zone, challenge yourself and not only succeed, but always excel. Always be proud of yourself. As father of the bride, I have the dubious pleasure of making the first speech. It's been absolute joy to watch a very talented, extremely inquisitive little girl blossom into a very beautiful, clever, compassionate and extremely loving young lady that I had the privilege of walking down the aisle today. I will love you forever whatever happens. Till I die, and after I die, I'll drift about forever, all my atoms, till I find you again. I'll be looking for you, and when we do find each other again, we'll cling together so tight that nothing and no one will ever tear us apart. Every atom of me and every atom of you will live in birds and flowers and dragonflies and pine trees, and in clouds, and in those little specks of light you see floating in sunbeams. And when they use our atoms to make new lives, they won't just be able to take one. They'll have to take two, one of you and one of me.